Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mohammad Sohil and today I am going to teach you anatomy and physiology of eye. In this video we will see the basics about eye, what are the layers of eye and what are the functions of eye. So friends, this video is going to be very interesting to all of you. So it's my humble request to you, if you people have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any update from my youtube channel. So without any further delay, let's begin with our today's session. First of all, the body has an ability to sense and it is change in its internal and external environment. Special sense organs are characterized by large and complex organs, each with a unique function. Sensory organs have special receptor that allow us to smell, taste, see, hear, and maintain equilibrium balance. Now what do you mean by ophthalmology? So ophthalmology is the branch of science that deals with the study of eye and their disorder. Basically there are three layers of eye which is also called as eyeball. First layer is fibrous layer which is also called fibrous tunica, second vascular layer, third nervous tissue layer or retina. Let's discuss one by one. First, fibrous layer, which is also called as fibrous tunics. Fibrous tunics is the superficial layer of the eye or eyeball. It consists of anterior cornea and posterior sclera. The cornea is transparent that covers the iris because it curves the cornea which is helps to focus light into the retina. Central part of cornea receives oxygen. The sclera is the whitish part of the eye. Eye mostly made up of collagen fiber and fibroblast. It covers the entire eyeball and gives shape to eyeball. At the junction of sclera and cornea, there is one opening called as scleral venous sinus, which drain aqueous humor. So this is all about the fibrous layer or fibrous tunics. Then second layer is vascular layer or vascular tunics. So the vascular layer or vascular tunics is the middle layer of the eye or eyeball. It is composed of three different parts. First, choroids. Second, ciliary body. Third, iris. Now first, choroids. It is highly vascularized posterior portion of vascular layer or vascular tunics. It lies mostly of the inner surface of the sclera. It also contains melanocytes. And these melanocytes produce melanic pigments that's why this layer appears dark brown in color. Melanin acts as a light absorbent and prevents the reflection and scattering of light. Hence the image passed in the retina and it may remain clear and sharp. Then second, ciliary body. It is the anterior portion of the vascular tunics. It extends from sclera. Ciliary body appears dark brown in color because it also contains melanin and produces melanocytes. They contain blood capillary and secret humor. Contraction and relaxation of ciliary muscle change the tightness of zonular fibers, which alter the shape of the lens far nearer and far region. Then third, iris. Iris is the color portion of the eye and eyeball. It is suspended between cornea and lens. It also consists of melanocytes and some radial smooth muscle fibers. The principal function is to regulate the amount of light entering in the eyeball through the pupil. So this is all about the vascular layer or vascular tunic. Now coming to the third layer that is nervous tissue layer or retina. It is the third and inner layer of the eye or eyeball called retina. It lies in the posterior three corners of the eye or eyeballs and it is the beginning of visual pathway. Optic disc is the site where the optic nerve exists in the eyeball. Bundle of optic nerve are the central retinal artery. Retina consists of two layers, pigmented layer, second, neural layer. So what is pigmented layer? Shape of melanin coating epithelial cells located between the choroid and the neural part of the retina. Then second, neural layer, multilayer outgrowth of the brain that process visual data extensively before it's sending nerve impulses into axon that form an optic nerve. 
so this is all about the layers of i now what are the functions of i so first cornea so the basic function of cornea is to refract the light and protect the eye then second iris control how much light enters the pupil third lens focus light onto the retina fourth optic nerve the bundle of sensory neurons that carry the impulses to the brain fifth retina layer of tissue at the back of the eye that contains photoreceptor cells called rods and cones sixth fovea area of the retina with highest concentration of cone cells that provides sharp vision seventh aqueous humor maintains pressure in the eye and nourish the cornea then vitreous humor maintains the shape of the eye and attaches to the retina then ciliary muscles help change the shape of the lens in accommodation then sclera tough outer layer that extraocular muscles can attach to then last is pupil hole in the center of the eye that lets light in so this is all about the anatomy of eye i hope you like the video